Welcome back, Pack. Streaker 6 here. Today I'm on the Grim Reaper's Stone Burner server to show you what I do for my cold start and mission ready, what I call mission ready, routine in the Apache helicopter. So let's get right to it. First off, I'm going to close my doors to alleviate any of the external sounds that are going on outside. Then I turn on my countermeasures and switch everything to manual. As you'll notice, my stuff might get a little bit jumpy here. That's my Toby Eye Tracker 5. It likes to do that, especially, especially when I'm talking, it gets really jumpy. So uh, I apologize for that in advance. Set my H or my uh, horizon bubble here real quick, so that's all done when it starts up. Turn my battery power on. Lift the APU cover. Start the APU. Then what I do is then I'll go into my weapons and fuel menu and I'll get set up there. I drop it to 50% fuel. That gives me about an hour and a half flight time, typically speaking. I've already set up my livery for this. And on most servers, you'll be able to take 16 Hellfires if you want to take 16 Hellfires. That's just kind of my default load. Um, the only time that I've seen that this particular loadout doesn't work out is when I'm on the Persian Gulf map. And then I have to take about half the load of Hellfires or otherwise I won't be able to hover uh, because of the temperature. Request refueling. Okay, so now while it's doing that, my APU has fired up and gotten all my screens going. What I will do is I will start engine one. While engine one is starting up, I will go to my comms. And then go to manual. And I'll go up to this VHF one up here. Click on that, and I will, let me recenter my head tracker, switch that to 125. That is what the Hilo hounds like to use for our internal Computer frequency, complete. so that we're not bother bothering everybody else on the server with our little chitter chatter. Most servers will use 250 or 251. Um, not sure on stone burners, so I'm just going to switch it to 250. And then my comms are set up because most servers will use 30 FM for their Hilo uh, bespoke comms pretty much. Then what I want to do is I want to switch to the TSD. Rearming complete. And then I look back over, I see I'm up over 20%. I want to switch my throttle here up to idle. I can get my engines rolling. While I'm on my TSD page, I will go to show, show CPG cursor and, and cursor info. Threat show, I will box all of these. Ordnance show, box everything. So that all this info shows up on the map. Back out of show again. Come down here to acquisition. Change it from fixed to tads. Come to my map. Box that. I like to have either digital or satellite, satellite map up. Uh, typically digital because it'll give me the terrain map so I know what my heights are coming up on me or have a better idea of what's coming up. Top glory, <laughs> now that uh, my engine up 1 is completely fired up, from I will start up engine 2 and wait for that to hit at least 20%. While I'm doing that, I'm going to come over here to my weapons page. 
open up my weapons page. I want to set my Hellfire codes. I typically use Papa, so I'll set Papa for the laser, laser range finder designator, I do believe is what that stands for. And then click on that to change it over to the laser sight tracker, I do believe is what that stands for. Change that to Papa. And then I will come to channel and change that also to Papa for my Hellfire missiles. Now once that's done, I will go to my ASE page. I see, and I also see that engine two is over 20%, so I will take my throttle to idle. And while it's doing that, to get your chaff to go from safe to arm, you will need to have your arm your armaments armed instead of on safe. So how to do that? You'll go to ground override arm. Click on chaff, turn that to arm. I don't lose like I like to use uh, manual settings, so I'll take the programming off and switch it to manual. Come over here to the utilities page. And come down here to the RLWR and make sure that that O is filled in solid. Click on that, now it's filled in solid. Come back out of the utilities page and when you go back to your TSD, it should be showing your RWR in a square box around here. I don't know why it's not doing that for me today, but oh, there it is. Okay, so there's my square box. Now I have my RWR overlaying my map. Um, then I will come over here. I forgot to bore sight my weapon, so I'll come back to the weapons page. Go back to bore sight. Go to iHads, put my iHads back on, turn that all the way up so that you can see the target there. Right control and W are the defaults to press when you get that somewhat centered. Close enough for this informational video. Um, <clears throat> like I say, my head tracker, I use Toby Eye Tracker 5, does my eye movements too, so it is kind of a pain to get completely accurate with your head movements with the Eye Tracker 5 I have found. Uh, it works well in many functions, but yeah, that is where it lacks. So I'm going to take my iHads back off so that you guys can uh, have a better view. Now that all that is started up, I will go to my, or all these pages are set up. I will come over to my video page, switch it to TADS. Come up here, press TADS, and then switch it to Zoom. And I'll go back to my TSD page, and this is how I am set up for being mission ready. Then I will come over here and I will arm all of my stores for jettison in case I lose an engine so that it, I'm not pressing, trying to get those pressed to drop my, drop my hellfires if I'm losing power because I only have one engine. Then, of course, you just throttle her up. Nice and slow, or otherwise, which most of the time I'll get my warning because I throttle it up too fast. Get her up to full power. Shut off your APU. Close the APU cover. And now you are set up to be mission ready. If you like the video, leave a like on the uh, on the video. Uh, if you want to see more of my content, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss 
the videos, make sure you hit the bell icon, of course. You know the drill. And I will see you in the next one.